Never had a lot, this is all I need. What is up, everyone? It's Scott Talks. I'm Scott. You knew that already, though. I'm here with... Hi, I'm Courtney. Courtney, who are you? I'm his sister. Yes, this is my little sister, Courtney. We are four years apart. We have a brother in between us who is two years younger than me, two years older than her, and that's Jason. Hopefully, you guys will see him soon. But until then, rocking here today with my little sister, Courtney. Courtney, what are we talking about today? Today, we're going to be talking about Little Nas X. Yes, Little Nas X, mister. I'm going to take my horse to the Old Town Road when I'm going to ride till I can't no more. Yes, that is him, the viral internet sensation. Um, He's actually dropped a lot of great songs after that. He had another big one called A Panini. Uh, yeah, I'm not a, I don't know the songs word for word, so I'm not even going to try to fake like I do. But again, he's mass. Oh my gosh, he's massive on the internet. I mean, he has at least 200 million streams. Easily. More than and, that. That, and that's, yeah, he, I think he's hit the Billy mark, but I could be wrong. But yeah, that, that Old Town Road era, I mean, every kid's party, every classroom, everywhere, he had everyone doing the little saddle lasso thing. I mean, he's big, he's huge, he's a viral artist, and he's actually made a pretty great music career out of it so far. He's not a one hit wonder, and he looks to keep making great songs. So happy for him on that regards. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about today how he dropped a song. Courtney, what's the song called? Mon. Taro, Call Me By Your Name. Yes, and that song, so again, the song itself was cool, you know what I mean? No one really had an issue with the song. But then when the video dropped, the internet went in flames. I mean, straight outrage. So basically in the video, he's toying with some very creative concepts, and he's basically kind of toying with, you know, the idea of Satan in the video. And with that, a lot of people weren't happy about that. I mean, personally... For me, I mean, I don't really care. It's, it's art, It's art. you know, creativity. You know, do what you got to do to get your streams and get your views. Again, from a creative standpoint and artistic standpoint, I think he, I think the video was dope. I think, you know, whatever. Again, it was a very abstract concept, but, you know, it, it's art. You know what I mean? It's creativity. It's music. Whatever. Courtney, how do you feel about it? Yeah, I agree with what you said. I feel like the video was really creative. Yeah, it was a creative video, but again... The internet's in flames. I mean, he has pastors coming at him. He has parents. He has random internet people. I mean, it's just Democrats. anyone. This is the one time I've seen Republicans and Democrats come together. Yeah. Isn't that a crazy thing? <laughs> I mean, woo. But yeah, so all these people come together to try to get him to take the song down, whatever. And see, in today's day and era, you're not selling records. You're not selling, you know, physical copies of your CD. It's you're streams. selling streams and views on your music video. That's how you're getting paid. So for someone like that, if you take down the video... You're taking down his income. You're taking that source of money. And that's right. one thing I, you know, I don't believe in. Don't don't play with people's sources of money. That's not cool. That's how he feeds his family. Again, even though he's rich now, you know what I mean? You, that That's how he generates income and revenue. So, again, they're on this guy of, like, oh, duh, 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 that's not cool. That's not cool. But on the flip side, we have artists like Little Uzi, Trippy Red, and other people who have, you know, played with satanic concepts. For instance, Uzi has a song called 444 plus 222, which equals three sixes and again that's associated with satanic um paraphernalia and stuff like that so yeah and again people did have outrage for little uzi but not to this degree no one was like uzi needs to take this down you mean like politicians pastors no it's maybe one or two parents are outraged to say hey don't listen to that song or people just like hey we're just gonna skip over that song but i mean uzi used to legit come out on stage with upside down crosses and stuff right. like that and you know everyone thought it you're was all cool. coming was to hell with me right so you know and no one had that and he even had Marilyn Manson right. as his um, profile picture, and no one really, whatever. But then Little Nas X, who, side note, happened to come out not too long ago, you know, as being gay. Then everyone has an issue with it, and I think yeah. the issue is not even really just with this video. I think people, especially people in the African American community, the black community, they're homophobic, and I don't think that's right to want to cancel someone just because you don't agree with their views and their life. Because again, at the end of the day, the Little Nas X is gay, straight, bisexual. It's it's his life. It's his. That's his personal life. You know what I mean. That has nothing to do with his music. It has nothing to do with you know if he's a good or bad person. That's just you know this is a sexual orientation. And there's nothing wrong with that. So the fact that people are wanting to cancel him and come for his livelihood over that, I think that's pretty wrong. I think that it also explores a deeper thing in our community, which is homophobia. But even with the homophobia aside. Again, not everyone who's going to, you know, watch his music video is Christian. So to say that he should take it down or something, I just think that's a little wild. And I think that's kind of far-fetched, actually. Courtney, what are your thoughts? Yes, I agree with you. 
backtracking on what you said about Little Uzi, Marlon Manson, they all make money off of satanic stuff. So I don't understand why they're not catching the same heat as Little Nas X. Another thing you mentioned was homophobia in the black community. For example, the Shave Room is a black-owned Instagram account. And they had posted Little Nas X. I don't know if you saw this. It was the post about his music video. And a lot of people in the comments were saying that, you know, he's going to hell. They don't like him. Let's cancel him. And I was just looking at it, giving them the side eye, because it's kind of hypocritical to decide whether someone goes to hell or not. That's up to God. God is the only one who can decide who goes to heaven or hell. So that's why I have to call it the hypocrisy. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, again, quote me, correct me if I'm wrong. Again, you've been to more Catholic and Christian schooling in your life than I have. But was it not said in the Bible that God loves all his children? Yes, God loves all his children. And also, a lot of them, I did see some homophobic comments. And let me just make this clear. God never said he doesn't like gay people. God specifically said that he does not endorse pedophilia a man and a little boy having a relationship. That's what he exactly said. He never said anything about homosexuality. Yes, and I agree with that. And again, because God loves all his children. And, you know, I'm pretty sure homophobia, not, no, excuse me, not homophobia, but pedophilia is a lot worse than, you know, who you like and who you choose to be with, you know? Right. And I just feel like if you're going to call out Little Nas X for his music video, also stop swearing. Right, that's what I'm saying. Stop so drinking. Right. And that's no football. That, and that's a great No point. adultery. And that's what I'm saying, Corey. The same people trying to cancel are the same people who have tattoos, sex before marriage. Yeah. Um, and on anything else that was in the Bible that you weren't supposed to do. So, again, if you're, if you're going to use the Bible as your defense for your argument, then, you know, make sure you follow those same codes, too. Right. And then, even, again, just cancel culture in general is such a weird thing because people claim to cancel someone over something, and then two days later, you're back streaming them. And even with canceling them, by putting, by linking their music and their video and stuff like that and going on their video just to leave negative comments, you're still giving them a view, you're still giving them a watch time, you're still giving them a right. stream. So you're actually making Little Nas more right. money by giving him more buzz. He has currently 100 million plus views on that music video. So all you're doing is giving him views. Right. And he has a number one, and the song went number one. So again, he's winning in the end. Exactly, and that's why Little Nas is laughing at this whole right. situation because he's getting paid regardless. I don't think those people who are broke at home, you know, on their computers, right. typing behind the Keep screen, bored like they're they're not doing anything. You're not hurting him. A video could get ten thousand million dislikes as long as it's getting those views right. coming in. It's you're still getting paid off of it. Like Justin Bieber, he probably got a bunch of dislikes from that baby video, but at the end of the day, he was still getting paid. Exactly, and again, it's just cancel culture is such a weird thing. Right. We'll cancel people for you know having different views than us and stuff like that but we won't cancel people who are pedophiles we yep. won't cancel people who are known um menaces to our community we don't yep. we won't cancel some creators. domestic abusers we won't cancel abusers racist. we won't cancel people racist and uh, what's so funny is there's a lot of tiktok people big on tiktok who not only are racist but they also steal content from smaller accounts which i think i think that's and canceled. black people yeah they oh, steal I mean, that's black so people are the blueprint on tiktok and this is my thing this is my little rant. I'm just going to say this. I don't agree with cancel culture. However, that comes with an exception. A couple exceptions. Actually, by all means, people who are racist, extremely racist, who do not change, should be canceled. Also, pedophiles should be canceled. For example, I find it really funny how everyone's trying to cancel Little Nas X, but they won't cancel Mick Jagger. They won't cancel Steven Tyler, who have all had relationship with minors you me, can't which you me, can't apologize for that right you cannot apologize for that it happened and, and that's but they're thing. praised and that's the other thing too that's so weird about it is that people love to bring up people's past but then look past certain people's other right. things Tyler the Creator people tried to cancel Tyler the Creator for stuff that he made when he was a teenager in a time that it was okay again Tyler the Creator never was doing anything harmful to anyone he never was whatever he was literally just using some vulgar language but again shock he, value that's all he was you know, doing right it was just a lot of shock value but he didn't say anything which is a lot different than you know, actually white doing person, it you know what i mean digging up their old tweet and you see a nigger in there and it's like right. wait like what, what is this like you know what i mean like that's not like that's not okay and again i don't even like using that word with the hard er because that's so offensive to my people but it's like 
You know what I mean? We have people who are running around who openly say that or say that and then make a weak apology that their PR team cooked up and everyone forgives them, but then... Not even sincere. You know, one person makes a video expressing their creative, you know, their creative side, and now the end of the world. Like, for instance, people trying to cancel Cardi B because she made a song about sexual liberation, which, again... You know that wop wop wop. I mean, it was a it was a good song. I mean, you know, I'm b- doing the wop dance in my kitchen. I mean, it's a good song. But if we're gonna kill Cardi B for making that type of song, then we need to also cancel rappers for talking about they're gonna shoot their community up, they're selling drugs to their community. Because right. actually, again, as cool as that sounds, which it really isn't, that's destroying the black community. You have people looking up to these people. They and pick whatever. and choose. When but they if you're outreach. gullible enough to look up to someone and try to emulate everything that they do in your life, and you don't have to. Then that's on you, because I'm sorry, I have no sympathy. I've never listened to a rap song and been like, man, now I want to go get a gun and sell drugs. Like, no, I've never listened to any song and been like it. So if that's how easily influenced you are, then you you need to see somebody. You yeah, need to you get need to stop. This is my, this is what I'm going to say. I commend Tyler, the creator, for standing his ground, never apologizing, never trying to... How do I word this? He's he, never he, he, trying... He, he, again, he acknowledges that he said that right. stuff. He also has grown... But he's never I mean. apologized, which I applaud him for because he's not trying to be like everyone else. Join right. the way. Let me apologize for something I said in the past. Right. He, he, he said it. He, he meant said it. it. And he does he do it anymore? From... No, he doesn't. His new music does not include those lyrics. Right. And it, he and never did any of those and, things. And that's the thing, too, is that people have room for growth. And I don't think people understand right. that. And again, with the whole little Nas situation, because we're coming up on that 12, 15 minute mark, that... I don't think he should be canceled. I don't think there's anything wrong with what he did. Again, it was a very abstract concept, but right. to be canceled or want his video removed or all this, da da da, like it's just never that serious. Like you know, what I mean, you have the you have the power to not watch the video, not listen to the song. I mean, right. you know, what I mean, like you control what you see. You control the media you ha- and the videos and stuff that you see and you choose to put on. So if you choose to put on that video and watch the whole thing through and some and it's a concept that you're against, then that's on you. I mean. I'm not going to sit and watch them. I don't like, for instance, I don't like horror movies. I'm not going to sit and buy a ticket to a horror movie. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, it's just dumb. I mean, people love to pick and choose what to do. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like the same people who are banding together to cancel Lil Nas X are interesting because it's okay to cancel Lil Nas X for having creativity, but it's not okay to cancel someone or give someone a second chance when they say the N-word. Like, no, right. I'm, miss, miss me with that. Right. Miss me with that. And this is, as we're closing off the video, this is what I'm going to say. Like I said before, the video was creative, and everyone has to understand that not everyone is Christian. There are atheists, there are Muslims, there are Jewish people. You just have to understand that not everyone is going to be Christian. And, just, and, and let me just say this. Are you also having this outrage for people who make videos, let's say, poking fun at Islam, Judaism, mm-hmm. atheism? Are you keeping the same energy, or is it just with Christianity? And I think that's a great point that, you know, we all have different religions, different beliefs, different right. values. And that's the beauty of us being human. Even though we have all these different things, we're still human at the end of the day. And it's like, you know, if you're, if you're going to have that energy of canceling someone because they make, you know, because they're mocking, I guess, your religion in a sense, then you need to have that for all things. Because, again, it's not okay to mock one religion, but then turn around and, you know, whatever. Because, right. again, if you want Lil Nas X video, videos to be canceled, then you also need to have anyone who's, you know... Is it is Islamophobic? You know what I mean? Yeah, or stuff like that. Yeah, like, because that's not cool either. For instance, right. thinking any Muslim person is a terrorist, that's not cool either. You should be canceled for that because that's, right. that's absurd. Like, you know what I mean? So I say all this to say that if we're going to cancel someone, then we need to cancel everyone. You can't right. pick and choose what you issues can't pick and choose or whatever, to which ones you're going to turn your back to. So again, we say all this to say that, no, Lil Nas X should not be canceled. He had a creative video. You know, I, cont- I continue to wish him success in wellness and his music i mean he doesn't need my wishes because again he's, he's doing his thing man he's getting those streams so thank you courtney for being on here courtney will definitely be back on the show this is my younger sister for those of you who are just tuning in and yeah we hope to have you back on the show so courtney any final words no thank you for having me no problem so you guys know the deal follow me on instagram at dmv underscore scott as well as twitter um also the podcast twitter is podcast underscore scott and yeah we hope to see you guys next time tune in again mondays fridays 3 p.m eastern 2 p.m central let's get it over and out toodaloo